A 22-year-old electronic folk artist raised in Fishhook, Matthew moved to Joburg a year ago, in which time his debut album, The Home We Built, has won the iTunes Editor's Choice Album of the Year. Good to see you. Now, I remember listening to the radio and they just said, Matthew Mole, first African hit number one on iTunes. That's huge. How did it feel to you? A lot of people were asking me about it and everyone just kind of wanted to know, oh, how do you feel? The album is number one on iTunes, and like I, only then I realized, like, oh wow, this is like it's huge because there were other international guys that were that were on the charts as well. So it was just like I was super honored to just be on the charts. So the fact that it was at number one was was cool, like as a bonus. Now you're quite well known for your songwriting, and before iTunes, you'd won a few competitions for your songwriting. Uh, there's there's one competition that was like two years ago that um, that this company ran where. Uh, you just like you upload a demo onto the internet, so that's all I had was just demos. Made it into like the top ten, and then uh, I got that one. So it was it was cool. Like I got to go to to London and play there, and then went to record in in New York. Cause it was a huge opportunity for me, and like I was it was so much fun. So I'm super grateful for that. I want to find out what's the secret to your music. I don't know if there's any like specific secret I've got. The songwriting is is super important to me. So before I go into the studio or before playing shows, I just want to make sure that the songwriting has been thought through and it's just kind of, like I've always got a lot of ideas. I don't know, maybe I can take you back to where I, I write my songs at home and we can, we can take a look at it. Cool, can't wait, man. Sorry. He learned guitar from his father and only discovered he could sing when classmates persuaded him to perform in an end of school concert. Wow, man, it's, it's like, a, like a mix of music in here. Yeah, this is where I write my stuff. Hopefully that's what you think when you walk inside. Yeah, and, and then what's with the with the laptop? I've seen you work with that on stage before. Yeah, this is where um, I kind of like, I do a lot of the synthy kind of electronic stuff on stage. Mm -hmm. I've just got a few different things here that I like, have a, a MIDI controller where I'll map it to the program and then activate a bunch of synth lines or bass lines, stuff like that. So I'll give you a little example. What I do is I listen to like a click track yeah. through my ears. So it sounds a little bit like this. There you go, see you got it. It's not the best sound to be hearing in your ears, but I mean, it keeps you in time. Mm -hmm. So I can give you a little example of what I, what I do when okay. I play live. Oh, show you quick. This is a song called Take Yours, I'll Take Mine. Um, oh, love that song. Ah, thank you. So um, this is how, so this is like the little synth you're hearing, mm -hmm. pretty much. And then I play this. Yeah, there you go. I'll take mine. On the right hand side And I'll rest And you'll find That you take rest in mine so, I love that song Oh, thank you <laughs> So yeah, so that's kind of what I'll do when I play live This is the basic version But mm -hmm. like, yeah, you can, you can be my drummer if you're keen Let me for the next show I think, I think that would work ah. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I must say, I love your music Not just because of the sound of the music I love the lyrics where do you find your inspiration? I'm mostly inspired by like, my family. Like just a lot of what they've taught me, just like decisions in living my life. And like this song, Take Yours, I'll Take Mine, was written about kind of finding direction in my life. So, yeah, it's, it's quite a broad one, but that's where it all comes from. How long have you been writing for? I've been writing for maybe like five years, but for the first three years, they were pretty much the worst songs you've ever heard in your life. Like, I, I don't even know what the songs were about. And I think I'm still new to it. Um, like, I've still got to learn so much. But um, I've only really been happy with songs that I've been writing for like two years. Mm -hmm, yeah. like, you said you write about your family. Uh, tell me about your upbringing. I was raised in um, a Christian family. So, like, it's nothing, like, I wasn't, like, throwing Bibles and stuff my way and forced to listen to gospel music. It was just like a, it's just like a really, like, supportive, encouraging family. So, like, just everything, but they've taught me the way, like, they taught me to live my life, being a big inspiration in what, in what I write about. Now, can you play all these instruments here? I can play them. I'm uh, mainly a guitarist. Yeah. That's why there's so many guitars. I can play a bit of drums and piano. But yeah, I mean... You're quite talented, man. Do you mind if I... Yeah, please. Okay. Maybe we can try to play a little song together. All right. So this is a ukulele, which is, like, it's pretty basic. It's, it's got four strings. This is, this is a C, if you just put your finger over there. All right. That's like the, the first chord you'll learn on a ukulele. Yeah. And if you want to play an F, which will go quite nicely with that, is this finger will go down there. Okay. There we go. And then for the song, we can try playing our, uh, I don't know if you watched Ice Age, but yeah. it goes like this. 
Which is it just a C? No, the F. This sort of band, what should we yeah, call I it? Think, uh, I don't know if you got any ideas. I, I think Top Deck. Top Deck. What do you guys think about Top Deck? I like yeah. that. I mean, it works, like the two of us. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Like, okay. I like that. Is, idea. Is, is, I think maybe you try singing a little something. Like, how would it go? Uh, I like chocolate. Uh, uh. And you got my chocolate, then you got the chocolate, then you got a top. <laughs> and you got it. I don't know, maybe you should stick to the ukulele for now and then we'll practice the singing a little later. But <laughs> 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 it does not sound too no, bad. It sounds good, we're just yeah. gonna work on our lyrics, I think, and we'll be. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's so. It's not a band, actually.